Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna. Growing up, apparently the Maldonado household was the place to go to play board games. And Jose has taken this to another level now. They just opened, and I'm talking December 9th on Irving Park in Harding, this place called Stay and Play Game Cafe. Good morning, Jose. Good morning, Anna. So literally, a lot of these were in your basement. Absolutely. Yeah. How many board games do you have here? So we have over 600 games in the collection right now. What? Yes. Yes, my wife is ecstatic to get these out of the basement into a venue that... So tell me a little about. bit about what you wanted to accomplish in a cafe like this. Yeah, so this has been a vision of ours for over a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, Yesenia and I uh, met in college where we we quickly found we both had an affinity towards games, mm -hmm. played space, played domino, you name it. Mm -hmm. uh, after we got married, and, um, we brought board games to our friends and family. Mm -hmm. We were the house where they would all come gather. Mm -hmm. We'd have 30, 40 games. Now oh it's grown God. over 600. Um, yeah, How so do people you get rid of people? Oh, my God. <laughs> Robin. No, we love cooking, we love drinking, and we love playing oh. board games, so it's a great recipe. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's awesome. So then that's kind of, then you brought in your culture. Behold, Coquito French Toast. I'm just going to leave it at that. You brought your Puerto Rican cuisine into this, too. Yeah, it's important for us to bring in our Puerto Rican heritage, our love for Chicago, and the board games all into the mix. But right. these guys that have been playing all morning say that you have played almost all of these games, or at least you understand that's them. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so I am the I am the resident game guru, uh -huh. and if I'm not working behind the bar, I love working with the customers to teach them new games. How do yep. you keep these clean, though? That's what I keep thinking, <laughs> sticky fingers. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's mm -hmm. a, a labor of love. And so what I love, too, is that you have them categorized by classics, kids, yeah. uh, couples. That's right. That's right. So all around, we have family and strategy games. Mm -hmm. um, and they're sorted alphabetically so people can find them easily. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the back here, we've got children's games. Over here in the corner by the Instagram wall, we've got classic games. We've got party games in the back room. Mm -hmm. So easy for, uh, depending on your game fix, easy to find a game you want to play. What are we playing here? We're playing the Exploding Kittens. Oh, oh, oh. No cats were harmed this morning. <laughs> I just want to point that out. Is it easy to eat and play? Is it, how, how do you like this concept? Uh, the concept is great. I mean, we have a nice table size, uh, plenty of games, and the food is at a nice portion where it can be pushed off to the side. I love and it. it yeah. I love it. Do you take reservations? Can kids come and play we all do. the time? Absolutely. Yeah, so kids actually play free. If you're 12 and under, uh, you play for free mm -hmm. uh, with a part with a paying adult. Yep. yep. And we take reservations and we've got private event space for yeah. up to 45 to 50 people. I love it. All right, when we come back around town, we will show you more of this great new spot uh, on Irving Park and Harding.